Speaking oh, of Terra, I got a. Uh, I went and got Guild Wars two today, so I can try it out. Ah oh, yes. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! I oh, wanna play. There's Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there. Wow, America has changed her. All right, 10 minutes. All right, it's starting now. All right, first thing I'm going to bring up is Borderlands 2, oh, which I know yeah. everybody's <laughs> played. And I just want to, you know, we'll just talk I about it. Yet. Shut up, Timely. All right, anyway. Timely, <laughs> why did we invite you? Because it's the best we're moving on. We're moving on. Reject your little self. <laughs> 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 okay, back in my corner. <laughs> no, no, come, come to this corner. It's full of hot dogs. Okay, now <laughs> as is American, kosher uh, hot dogs. I'm sorry, Muslims. <laughs> and that was all like pew, 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 America. All right, so Borderlands Two. Okay, I'll, I'll just preface it by saying that realistically, you can't say that it's not better than one. I mean, no. it, it it's improved in. Oh three. yeah, it's better in every way, in my opinion. Well. There are a few nags I have with it, but they're basically just like personal feelings and nothing to do with actual gameplay. You know, so like there's not really a lot to complain well, about. Well, I mean, I assumed when we did the show we were going to talk about opinions and not yeah. pure facts. Well, I mean, but I'm not I'm not going to sit here and review it like, ooh, but the, the mechanic is... <laughs> yeah, sure, sir. So yeah, basically, it is better than one, okay? Um, All right, next topic. <laughs> one thing that really irritates me, though, is that when things speak to you or whatever, in, in one, you could go back and replay the echo replays. Mm -hmm. Now you cannot yeah. do that. You can't listen to something if you missed it. I mean, it's not like there's that much to miss, though. There is. There is, Shay. You haven't played it as far. And I knew you were going to do this, and I'm ready for you. <laughs> <laughs> there are things that happen, and, and the, the game promoted that it had more storyline than the first one. That's its. That was one of the selling points, so to speak. That, but who hey, cares? Guys, Honestly, we're who sticking cares? The story. I mean, me, me, I do care. And But they said it, and then removed the echo function, so you can't listen back on the echo recordings. I mean, like, it doesn't seem to go hand in hand there. And it's really irritated me because a lot of times when you're multiplayer, you're listening to something Handsome Jack said, it sounds funny, and, you're, and then someone runs up by Claptrap, and the next thing you know... Claptrap's spouting his crap, and you miss it. You miss it all. Speaking okay. of which, like all the dialogue in this game is absolutely hilarious. Like in the call that you know we'd be on Skype, well, you know me and Oz and Kyle play this game together, by the way. And so mm -hmm. we'll be in the call, and it's like you know every five seconds it's just like you know spurts of laughter at the dialogue. Then this isn't going to be absolutely. popular, but I'm going to say that two is not as funny as one was. One wasn't funny at all, though. Nah, one. Was funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one was like, what the hell? Hey, one was funny. Really one was exactly the same experience. sense of humor and everything. Uh, except but, not. It was. Dude, I don't know what you're talking about. It was exactly the same. They have not changed their humor style in any but way. It was too but soon, like when Marty McFly played Johnny B. Good. What? It was way ahead <laughs> of its time, man. The humor didn't make sense back then. Okay, okay. Well, aside from that, I mean, I, 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 dug, I dug one. And then I hop over to two. And let's just say minor things like... Say scooter. Okay, scooter when I first the greatest character in that game. When I You're first take to, when I went up to the catcher ride though, and I was like, I don't know if they changed the recording equipment or if they changed the person who voice acts him, but it sounds like a dude. Sounds, it sounds, sounds like a dude trying to sound like scooter. So now everything he says, I'm like, this is like a guy pretending to be scooter, so it can't be funny because it's not canon scooter. I don't know if that makes any sense to anyone but me. But it feels wrong, and that's that's one problem I have with with the scooter. You're but reading I'm reading way too far into it, though. We're all, no, we're, all not, giving you, we're all giving you those looks where like we feel kind of sorry for you. Well, no, I don't. <laughs> like, but I mean, you didn't play the DLC in the first one, did you? Oh, the important DLC. <laughs> no, no, it was, it was. It legitimately leads up to what happens in the next game. Okay, okay, okay. But aside from story and stuff, let's get into the mechanics. This is where like we can really start talking about stuff. Fucking no! <laughs> this is my topic. Oh yeah, dude. I mean, the story, whatever. I'll preject the story. Let's get into the mechanics of Borderlands 2, because that's like where all the meat is, man. 
But what so the, many what guys. First off, Snowden is way It is in every way exactly the same as number one. Nothing has changed. There's no, new no, characters, but uh, other than that, exactly the same. No, so much is different mechanically. What's different, Shay? Okay, for one thing, I mean, Sniping Kyle is completely changed. Yes, sniping is I love it absolutely now. amazing now. Um, cause you know, we'll, we'll all be like running in and then like, you'll just see people getting picked up left and right. Cause we have three snipers in the fucking crew. <laughs> it's like, just got three right. Right. Yeah, me and Kyle just keep shooting at the same targets and every other kill. One of us is like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, you know, criticals everywhere, man. Cause like, I mean, I like the enemy types are more, uh, varied now. It's not just, you know, fucking yeah, the exact yeah. same bandit every single time. And there's like different strategies now, uh, to, how to take down the different types strategy um, what are you talking about you fucking go in there and you shoot a shotgun at things i mean i'm not like, sure how how i feel about the new slag thing i don't you know i haven't used a slag gun yet i do okay well, I mean, whatever it's just like, like a it's a effect. defense debuff but you know i'm all for the explosive and corrosive stuff i'm always down for that i was um, much more badass than both of you guys when we played as far too. as um as far as skill, i mean you die all the time man don't even as yeah, far as skill trees go i think <laughs> the skill trees aren't as like they're not as instantly rewarding as they were in one like in one, like you, you add a point to this thing and like you can instantly see like, oh yeah, now I have like, you know, this going on. But it feels like you have to work your way to the bottom of the tree to get anything really, really cool. Not me. Really? I put I all my crap exactly and like same. extra ammo and stuff. <laughs> I immediately yeah. got rewarded for mine. Okay, for example, you know, I'm playing, uh, you know, Gunzerker is my main thing. And so I'm doing, uh, I forgot which tree it was, but like I have, you know, I'm investing into this one skill where like, it has a certain percentage chance of not using ammo for my shots. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that, you know that's kind of cool, but it's not as like instantly gratifying as like plus this percent damage to everything. You know, that'd be way more like, like, yeah, plus, instantly. Well, that's what I basically am doing on my soldier or my commando is, is all percentage based increases and things like that. I'm basically building him to just hit as hard as he can with a shotgun. That sort of oh. stuff. Cause I love shotguns really hard. I wish this game had a more clear, um, a more clear way of doing like tanking. Like I wish there was a, a really clear aggro system, kind of, because like it feels like they whenever we get into a fight, they always run straight at Kyle every time. Like yeah, I was like, what the hell? I'm playing with you, and then <laughs> and then I run into them before they have a chance to get at Kyle. I yeah, phase like, lock one of them, kill the other just, two, and then I just die. Yeah, like, the whole crowd <laughs> will just like make a beeline for Kyle, and I'm like, what the fuck? I'm the Gunzerker. Come at me, bro. Like seriously, like. <laughs> I've noticed that though that there's a lot more dying as you kill the last guy. Like I, I don't know what it is, but with this playthrough, it seems like okay, I, there's a the last guy there, and I shoot it just as he pulls off of one last bullet or whatever, and then you got like you know fight for your life, but there's no one the hell around to shoot. Oh, the infuri- and, and all the suicide bombers in this. Oh, I like, dig that, man. Just, it mixes up. That's one thing I like is you have more enemy variety. Like you have suicide bombers. No, it's like mainly heavy. suicide bombers. That's like like everything I seem to run into is just a fucker with a freaking grenade in his hand. Like, <laughs> every time. Innocence so, of yeah. bandits. <laughs> no, but I mean, uh, like I like the commando probably better than I like the soldier in the last game. It feels more damage oriented. Um, and I the, feel siren, like, um, the siren I feel like the is a Gunzer- much better support character. Yeah, that's what a lot of people were saying about the siren. But I feel like uh, the Gunzerko is, is his role makes much more sense than uh, whatever bricks, right. yeah. whatever his class was in the first game. Like his role makes way more sense in combat. Yeah, because um, like you know he's he's like a burst DPS when he activates his skill, uh-huh. but until then he's kind of like a big damage sponge who can like you know try to pull aggro even though everyone goes for the fucking sniper regardless. Yeah. Yeah, it's more clear cut, but I still wish. Well, that I they... think it goes. They go for the. Does Kyle often take the first shot? Uh, possibly. That's probably. Uh, sometimes it's it's it was kind of a toss up between me and him because we were both picking the same targets and. <laughs> yeah. No, then I mean, again, you two have played together more than than I've played with you guys. Well, we're all the same place though, Sanctuary. Yeah. No, but I mean, but for sure, I mean, no, but I'm genuinely interested in the story this time around, and it, I don't know. I think they've done a good job in that aspect. I, but I, I can't, I can't get into the story though, because at the same time, you know, you'll be talking about it has all this stuff. The dialogue is hilarious. I love that. But as far as like actually caring about the story and characters, I'm like, you know, whatever. I'm in this to play with my buddies and kill yeah. shit relentlessly. Yeah, I don't care well, about no, I, whatever plot I mean, is going on. 
Like it could be plotless, and I wouldn't care. Like I wouldn't notice. Yeah, but the funny thing is, we had this conversation of when one was out, and I mm -hmm. think two hadn't even been announced yet. We were talking about it and the possibility of a two. And you said you'd be happy if they eliminated some of the features from one to replace it with more story. That was your words, and you said that. And I was like, oh, I think they could keep it the same as it was. But now we seem to have switched opinions. Yeah, with one, I played that solo the whole way through. I didn't do any co-op, and you know, yeah. which is definitely the wrong way to play Borderlands to begin yeah. with. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <it's> like... <laughs> no, I mean, I can understand that, but I actually, like, I'm glad that they've stuck more in. The thing that annoys me, oh. and I don't know... Like, the this timer's off, by the way. Oh, well, we, we, we continue the innocence of Muslims. We can continue this. <laughs> your, your one topic. We're equally important. <laughs> the thing that annoys me, though, is like, I, this is just like, I don't know, something about like a loyalty to the initial characters, but they it's not very far in before they start saying like, you're stronger than the uh, the first four. Oh, and you're like, and fuck I'm that. Like, and I'm like, how do you gather that? I'm level 11. Like, how could I be? <laughs> I mean... It just it ticked me off so much. I'm like, bullshit. Okay, have you seen Lilith yet in the game? No. Okay, well, I don't want to spoil too much. When she shows up, like... I mean, they she hinted that a... she's been killed, though, by Handsome Jack. She... Oh, well, fuck. <laughs> I mean, Never you know, mind. we don't care about the story. You can go ahead and spoil whatever. Okay, well, yeah, well, when she shows up, she freaking dominates the scene, like, teleporting all over the place and blowing things. I mean, like... She kicks a hell of a lot of ass, and you look yeah, like. Yeah, but at the same time, she's not a player character, so they can script whatever they want into her. I know, but what I'm saying is, then how are you going to act like? Oh, but but I but actually, I'm the tougher one here. I mean, like, the, every character that you run into from the first game has like kind of their little show pony moment where you get to fight alongside them, and they kick a lot of butt and that sort of stuff. You know, like mm -hmm. Mordecai snipes this entire, you, you, like this entire area of a map that you're in. Throughout the whole place, he'll be just sniping things up from a tower up at the top, like just helping you out throughout the whole area of the map. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's cool. I mean, it, like, it, it, all the characters have sort of become like the hyper evolved version of what they were in the last game. But then it's telling me, like, I'm beating a, a thing that they couldn't beat at like level 15 or so. And it's kind of, I don't know. Something about loyalty to the first set of characters just irks me when they start saying that. So I guess I can't, <laughs> I can't get into the new characters enough. Even though, like, mechanics-wise, I do prefer a lot of them. As far I as the new characters go, um, I don't feel like they have as much personality as they did before. Yeah, they except, don't. That's the thing, yeah. Yeah, with the exception of... Uh, of what's the Gunzerker's name? Well, I don't um, know. Oh, um, Salvador? Yeah, Salvador. Salvador and Maya. Was that the name of the... Of Maya's a siren. siren, yeah, yeah. yeah they, they have you know, they're they're funny and interesting. You know, he's a guy who hates math. Zero just literally is just fuck it. We need a ninja in this game. That's what, was, <laughs> like, yeah. Zero is kind of like he's too, uh, I don't know, he's too serious for my taste. But uh, and then the commando is kind of just a retard, which is, I guess, what? kind of it's good. Oh, I, I, I actually was cutter. I was disappointed in Zero's melee. Like, I thought the sword would be equipable, like some of the guns are, just like character limited. It yeah. just turns out it's just like the default melee. It's kind of dumb. Yeah. I'm actually, <laughs> this melee is crazy boosted, isn't it? As yeah, I mean, I do, I do what, 500% melee damage. Then I have a skill that I can bring it up at another 650% uh, or so. But so like, it's still, going, I don't know, it just still seems dumb. Are you going down the melee uh, talent tree? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I, I started. Like my solo character, I'm, I think I'm going to do him. And I started messing around with the melee tree on him. I've been doing But I play a uh, uh, commando with Jess. Catastrophe. But I don't know. The gun zerker just doesn't appeal to me, and neither did Brick in the first game. Yeah, Brick not so much, but in this game, I, I did a commando with uh, Oz and Kyle, and then we got to Sanctuary, and I was like, I'm really not digging this guy. So then you I got into the gun zerker. Sanctuary is way too soon to like make a judgment. <laughs> I mean, okay, whatever. Just so far, I, did, I wasn't having fun and playing as him. Because I, yeah. like, I throw a turret down, I'm like, what the fuck is this thing doing for us? So, you know, now I'm on the Gunzerker, and I feel, I feel like I matter again. Yeah, well, I, you know, I, I was wondering why you were doing Commando instead of, instead of Gunzerker when, when... Well, I mean, because I had a Gunzerker already, and then you guys were playing fresh for you, so I started a Commando just to just check him out. Yeah. Uh, the Commando, I, like, I really hated his aesthetic until I got new heads, so now he looks like a total badass. 
Yeah. He has the Commander Price beard and like this scarred, beat up face with a shaved <laughs> head. He looks so badass now. <laughs> no, I got. I mean, with the with the with the turret, when I drop it, like it, it ups my damage, like of my gun, my own gun, like uh, some ridiculous percentage, like uh, forty or something. I mean, it's like really high extra damage. So yeah, like, but then with Gunzerker, like you get um, crazy health regeneration, you get ammo regeneration, so you can just like. You know, you get two machine guns, everything is gone, man. Like, nothing's going to stop you, period. I don't know. That sounds a bit like easy mode, sick. Oh, <laughs> really? Like, increasing your damage out of nowhere? It's going to play on easy mode. Yeah, but a health regeneration? <laughs> yeah, you're the tank. That's what you should be doing. You're about to die. There is no about... tank in this game. Quit yeah, there's, there's a gun zooker. You wish the you were the tank. There he is, is no the tank. tank. Dude, that's why they have that skill. So, like, I'm the one who goes and takes all the aggro, and then I start regenerating but, while everyone else... But you just yourself said that you do not take the aggro. You wish you took the aggro, but you cannot take the aggro. This game you does can, not... You can. It's just initially they all go for the sniper, so you have to, like, like oh, guys, look, I matter more. <laughs> and Me, no stop. Over here. <laughs> I do wish that they had more tanking-related skills, kind of. Like, I want... I feel like the characters aren't interdependent enough. Like, they don't... Or codependent enough. Mm-hmm. Everyone just kind of like does their own thing. It feels like, and there's not enough, you know, except for reviving each other. There's not enough like uh, I'll, they should have like clear weaknesses that other characters can make up for. I think. <laughs> yeah, Kyle and I got really good at reviving each other. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, my my has got that uh, phase locker friend and instant revive them thing, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I haven't Wait. quite got that far yet, but that phase lock has saved my ass a million and one times. Yeah, like we were all getting our what was that what was that one big dude that we were having trouble with the guy with the shield those nomad guys oh with yeah, the, like uh, the 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 first like nomad boss that had that big ass shield and everything and like nobody could like shoot around the shield or anything so I just phase locked his ass and shot him in the butthole until he died <laughs> yeah but see that's where a turret comes in handy like drop the turret and then you, he, he pays attention to that you run behind mm-hmm. him and it's just shotguns to the back of the head so there is a utility for this turret, Shay, and I'm sick of you just turret hating so much. <laughs> it's like this little tiny thing that goes pew 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 pew. That's pew, not, pew. and it <laughs> dies so fast. It's like also. a machine gun that like launches out grenades if you spec it that way. I mean, like nukes even. So I mean, it's not pew pew pew. I don't know. I didn't like the idea of having something else doing my work for me. <laughs> Mer- Maybe you no, do. No, you just like health regenerators. Maybe you do. <laughs> Isn't that what the turret did in the first game? You were like, oh yeah, I got health regen on this thing, guys. Yeah, but I only use it outside of fights for that. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, you, you don't, why would you stand by your turret? Wasn't that the point of the first one in the first game? Because like, it had a shield and everything. Yeah, as, as an in-between fights thing, but I mean, I, I never really dropped the turret and then hung around it. Yeah, I me mean, neither, because I drop it down and try to swing around back, just like you were saying. Yeah. And yeah. I felt like, I mean, I, it wasn't fun because I wanted them to pay attention to me, not the turret. That's why I like Gunzerker. I like taking the abuse, man. That's like killing things. But I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm real big on shotgun use, so I think that zero with a shotgun should be a lot of fun. Yeah, I like having my shotties and my um, my sniper. I just I do a sniper or shotty setup for the most part. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hit God, weapon. that pistol that I have on Maya is amazing. Oh, yeah, some it's, of the pistols are just... really good. Like, Kyle had some pistol where, like, he said it did more damage or as much as his sniper. And it had, like, a 4 yeah. exit. That's the way my pistol is, and it's one of those, like, revolvers, like, fires as fast as you can pull the trigger kind of deals. Yeah, man. Jacob's a six, shot, a six shot fucking revolver that does more damage than my sniper rifle, and I'm just sitting here, like, <laughs> this, like, rapid fire clicking my mouse as fast as I can and unloading that shit into people, and it's amazing. That feel, bro. That feel. Yeah, and I'm liking the single shot rifles over the machine guns. Like, I never use machine guns. Um, I'm starting to like SMGs for like the pure DPS aspect they got. Like, cause you go about an SMG, you'll just eat through things like crazy. What was that? Some, I can never get into SMGs. Something about them, I'm just like, ah, this is too small and <laughs> bitchy feeling. They've got I some never... like they've got some like battle rifle slash assault rifle crap in there. That's that's pretty yeah. enjoyable. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, that's like, what I'm using it. In my last playthrough of one that I just finished, um, I you know because Roland had points sort of geared towards shotguns and assault rifles so i use the assault rifle as like my de facto sniper rifle a lot of the times <laughs> that ended up working pretty good i got some you know when you can get like rapid fire critical headshots that it's, it's a pretty beautiful thing yeah one thing i like about this game is that like you know headshots is everything not because like they're one hit kills but because it's the only way to like really advance 
Otherwise, yeah. you'll be pounding bullets in the guys for who knows how long. Yeah. Nah, Jacob's yeah, shotgun, man, guaranteed. takes care of all your problems. But it is I, a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, anything else about Borderlands 2? I don't know. I reckon I was expecting Zero to have more input, but... No, not particularly. I like sniping right. things and shooting things with pistols. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised too. Usually Kyle can't shut the fuck up about a game. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what use is he to us if not... I know, it's like he's... I guess we've used him up as much as we can. Yeah. I don't think I've said much of anything this entire time. I think, I think, I think you've insulted him every time he said something about Reddit. Like, every, every time he says something about a game, you're like, oh, did you read that on Reddit? So, like, <laughs> now he just shuts up. <laughs> yeah, so what if I did? <laughs> um, oh, okay. If, if I can bring something up that, that playing Borderlands has, has made me realize in the last few days, something I hate, and it's just like a pet peeve, when you're doing a quest and it's got the objectives listed, and you know right. that you're on the last objective and, like, you're expecting that sweet, sweet experience points chunk when you finish it. And, and they then send you, you somewhere get else? to it. Huh? And then they send you it, somewhere else? It extends the quest. You're like, motherfucker! Like, it's something about that. I'm like, give me a new quest, okay? That's okay, Welcome to but every story quest. <laughs> Welcome to every story quest in Terra. Yeah, oh, man. <laughs> So annoying, like because you're like, oh, I'll level up after I hand this in, you know. Especially if you want to get off after you, like, you you want to, you know, as soon as we level up, we'll, we'll bail. And it's like, nope, not yet, you know. And it sends you off. I don't know. This is just an annoyance that I find. Thanks for listening to episode eight. Check out the episode where we talk about hentai and stuff. Think of us when you're fat. <laughs>